Little was known of Arsene Wenger, at least in England, when he was appointed Arsenal's manager in 1996. Soon enough, he would make the football world sit up and take notice. Bookish and methodical in his ways, Frenchman Wenger became known by his sobriquet, Le Professeur. He is a fierce competitor with a hatred of losing. Every defeat is a scar in your heart that remains for life. He became Arsenal's most successful manager and took the Gunners to unimaginable triumphs, a giant club in the world of sport. Wenger, who grew up in Strasbourg, France, near the German border, was a moderate footballer as a boy and a young man and had visions of taking over his family's business. But he was fascinated by football tactics, often traveling with his family over the border to watch Bundesliga matches in between graduating from university with an economics degree. He was already helping manage the Strasbourg FC team in his final years as a player and began his full-time management career at Nancy in the French League in 1984. Wenger was ahead of his time, already studying video of opposing teams and bringing nutritionists in to help his players. His mindset was to attack and to allow the players to express themselves. And he believed in the adage that good players make good managers rather than the other way around. You know, uh, it's always difficult, you know. Uh, we spend a lot of time in our society to focus on things that are superficial and not take care of essential. Essentially, in football, we have to be make sure is one thing is players, good players on the football pitch, and that's what we have to take care of. Wenger took almost 10 years to make his mark as a manager, but won a league earned title with Monaco in 1987-88 also won a League Cup title in France, then managed the Japanese club Nagoya Grampus, adding another national title. He was in Japan when Arsenal sacked manager Bruce Rioch in 1996 and came knocking at his door. Johan Cruyff, the Dutch legend, was favorite to get the job, while another big name, Terry Venables, was a potential candidate. But Arsenal chose Wenger, prompting an infamous headline in a London evening newspaper, Arsene Who. The novelist and rabid Arsenal fan Nick Hornby summed up the general feeling. Trust Arsenal to appoint the boring one that you haven't heard of. 20 years and numerous titles later on, Wenger proved to be the ultimate survivor. Nothing has gone in our game you have to accept. I believe that uh, humility is uh, to understand that you start again from zero and uh, that you are in a jungle. We live in a jungle where everybody wants to eat you and you have to survive by keeping your vigilance. You know, that's what competition is about. And uh, so every day you have to fight again to survive. Still to come on the Immortals, Wenger's Invincibles. Arsene Wenger's big triumphs came early in his reign as manager at Arsenal. The Gunners won the English league title in just his second season, 1997-98, and did the double by winning the FA Cup as he became the first European manager to do so. Arsenal completed the double again in 2002. Then in 2003-04, did the unthinkable, going unbeaten through the entire Premier League season to win the title. They became known as the Invincibles. That group led by Patrick Vieira, the silken skill of Thierry Henry, and Dennis Bergkamp up front, and the stoic goalkeeping of German Jens Lehmann. They were the first team since Preston North End, way back in 1888-89, to go through a season without defeat, and just the second ever in English football. 
Ironically, Wenger had forecast it, citing AC Milan's incredible 1991-92 season in Italy. I can't see why it's so shocking to say it. Do you think Manchester United, Liverpool or Chelsea don't dream that as well? Arsenal's run began in 2003 with a 2-1 win over Everton at Highbury and went all the way to the final game against Leicester, a 2-1 win in May 2004. The Gunners built a stunning record of 26 wins and 12 draws with no defeats, albeit that they were ousted in the semi-finals of the FA Cup competition. I believe that the target of everybody when you wake up in the morning is to be better uh, to make sure that uh, at night you're better than the day before. And uh, that's, again, the essence of our, of our job. Uh, make sure that you improve every day. If you're not capable to think like that, again, uh, you're in the wrong job. Wenger kept driving his team into the next season, 2004-05, and Arsenal equaled and then overtook Nottingham Forest's record of 42 consecutive league matches without a defeat. Ultimately, the streak ran to 49 games, ending with a testy 2-0 defeat at Old Trafford by Manchester United on October 24, 2004, when Ruud van Nistelrooy and Wayne Rooney scored for the Red Devils. Arsenal's streak of 49 remains as the English league record, although there have been longer winning runs in football. The Romanian club Stoa Bucharest went unbeaten through 104 games in the 1980s, and Celtic in Scotland traversed 62 games without defeat from 1915 to 1917, for example. But Arsenal had established itself as a superpower of not only English football, but world football under the guidance of Wenger. The London club moved to a bigger stadium at the Emirates in 2006, although the league titles dried up as fellow London club Chelsea and Sir Alex Ferguson's Manchester United began dominant periods. Still, Wenger won further FA Cup titles with Arsenal in 2005, 2014, 15 and 17, and the club remained a fixture in European football by finishing in the top four regularly. By the end of 2017, Wenger's record was three English league titles, seven cup titles and six community shields, with the failure to win a Champions League title the only glitch. Arsenal went to the final in Paris in 2006, but lost 2-1 to Barcelona. Their goals coming in the 76th and 80th minutes after Gunnar Sol Campbell opened the scoring in the 37th. Wenger's longevity saw him clock up records. He became the club's longest serving manager in 2009, overtaking George Allison's landmark of 13 years. In 2014, he celebrated his 1,000th game in charge of Arsenal, one of a handful of managers to reach the mark with one club. After Ferguson's departure from Manchester United after 27 seasons in 2013, Wenger became the longest serving manager in the league. Players came and went like the brilliant Spaniard Cesc Fabregas, but Wenger toiled on. The relationship is fantastic. I spoke to him on Friday to say goodbye to him. And uh, as I said before, I got very emotional because uh, he's been like a father figure to me. And I, uh, I couldn't even talk at one stage, you know, when I wanted to say how grateful I was uh, for what he's done for me. Uh, I got a little bit emotional and I couldn't, I couldn't talk much, so I had to send him a message afterwards, you know, saying what he's done to me. It's, I will never forget it. It's a, a love story, and the love story you expect it always to last forever, but you know it can stop every day. It is hard to imagine anyone's position being so hotly debated as Arsene Wenger's at Arsenal. The club's longest serving manager began his tenure in 1996 by removing Mars bars from the team bus. Such was his devotion to healthy lifestyle. His players were immediately up in arms, chanting in the bus, 
we want our chocolate back. For 20 years, he polarized the Gunners fans. At times, it was nasty, such as when supporter groups held up anti-Venger signs at the games and sung songs mocking him. You should sit in my seat for a while, and then you would understand that's an impossible, that's an impossible job to keep everybody quiet. <laughs> Ideally, I would love to, but uh, unfortunately, practically, it's very difficult. Okay. But we try. Even some of his opposition managers had their turn, such as Jose Mourinho. He is a specialist in failure. In 2016-17, as Arsenal hit a downturn, he was required to fight for his job. Of course, because uh, my, my job is to make 100% of people happy. And uh, I think uh, if you look at uh, where the club was when I arrived and where the club is today, I think uh, I'm quite uh, proud of what I did for the club, but uh, after that, uh, you know, today we live in a, in a period where people are very demanding, and I can understand that. But uh, I know as well that uh, uh, I've guided this club through very difficult periods where <laughs> very, very, very limited resources, and. Uh, that uh, I managed always to get uh, the best out of the team, and that's what I will do uh, as long as I'm at Arsenal Football Club. Most of which he did with dignity. And none of it changes the fact he is a legend of Arsenal and world football. <laughs>